welcome. In this video, I thought we'd take a look at the get and transform data tool in Microsoft Excel. If it's not already part of your Excel toolbox, then it should be because it's a great tool. It lets you get and, well, transform data from a lot of different sources, whether that data is in the current file or not. It creates a link to the data and allows you to create and customize repeatable actions that apply to the data every time it's updated or refreshed, even better than a macro. It's easy to manage. It's really powerful. Oh, and one of my favorite parts is if someone just happens to delete your data from the spreadsheet, well, you're just a right click away from getting it all back. So if you've got a few minutes, stick around and let me show you how to use the get and transform data tool in Microsoft Excel. First, the get. To get data to transform it, you'll need to navigate to the data tab. You'll see a variety of options for connecting to your data from Azure Data Explorer to text or CSV files, and even tables or data ranges in the current workbook. Let's select a text file. After selecting your data source, you'll see a sample of the data and you can even change delimiters or control column format detection for the data. You can load the data directly to the worksheet or select transform data. And now the transform. Your data will be loaded into the Power Query Editor where you can use any of the several powerful tools available to scrub or transform your data. Let's look at a few of these tools and how you can apply them. One common task is separating data in a column. In our case, postal code from its extension. Using the query editor, we can select the column and then choose split column. You'll see several options, including by delimiter, number of characters, or position. You even get your choice of delimiters and when they occur. This includes custom delimiters, which in our case is the dash. The data type for each column is displayed in the top left-hand corner. You can change data type for a column by right-clicking the column header or simply selecting the displayed data type. Right-clicking any column provides the user with lots of tools for that column, from copying or deleting the column to removing duplicates or even replacing values in the entire column. If you make a mistake, you can just undo it by navigating to the Query Settings panel on the right and selecting the X next to the action. Add calculated columns to your data by using one of the powerful formulas that are included in the Query Editor. Select Custom Column from the Add Column ribbon. First, name your new column. In this example, we'll extract a text day of the week from the start date field of our data. Next, we'll start our formula by typing the word date. This leads to several date options and we'll select the day of week name function. You'll notice that the formula creation is similar to Excel functions. We select OK and our new column is added to our data. One important thing to note, 
Any actions taken in the query editor apply to the data every time that it is updated. Yes, new records also. You can even change the data source if the file has moved from the Home tab. By selecting Close and Apply from the Home tab, the data is returned to Excel in table format. You can always return to the Query Editor by selecting Queries and Connections on the right side of your data or by selecting Edit from the Query tab. You can even have your connections refresh automatically when the file opens. And of course, all normal Excel data tools are available, like sort and auto filters. Well, that's a quick look at the query editor in Microsoft Excel. The get and transform data tool provides users with several ways to clean up or scrub your data. And it's not that far removed from the way that you would do that in Excel, except that it's a permanent change to the data that happens every time that data is loaded into the spreadsheet. I hope this provides you with a labor-saving tool, and until our next video, thanks for joining me, and I'm Wayne.